Jeff Keen here. We just had a snowstorm in Connecticut. It's about 25 degrees out, and I'm about to take a 200 mile round trip to show how easy it is to charge an EV in the cold if you do it right. Okay, so here's my route through Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey. So the night before, I set the scheduled departure at the time I'd be leaving and set my charge limit to 100%. Now, if you have a home charger, a level two 240 volt, there's no problem. It was below 20 degrees, the battery warms and it charges, and you wake up in the morning, it's fully charged. And then maybe 15 minutes before I left, I turned on the heating to precondition the cabin and the battery. At this point, the Tesla is still plugged in, so it will pull the power from the charger and not the battery, so you don't lose any range. And when you leave the battery, okay, so warm. next I set a destination for the supercharger in West Nyack, New York. Now, I chose this one because it's not near a city center and it has a lot of stalls. See on the map before I left that there are only one or two stalls being used and there are no wait times. The Tesla started preconditioning for supercharging when it was close. When I've traveled about 120 miles, I came in at a pretty high state of charge and I charged for eight minutes at this location. I got to my destination in Wyckoff, New Jersey with about 60% state of charge, stayed there for a few hours, and then I set off back to Connecticut. I traveled about 50 miles back to Darien, Connecticut, and I used the supercharger at the rest stop. Now, I charged here for about 15 minutes while I got a cup of coffee. I set my home location in the navigation, and I waited until I, my arrival percentage would be about 20% just to give me some leeway. I just installed these Apple Green Electric CCS chargers at the Darien rest stop for non-Tesla vehicles. So when I got home, I set my charge level to 80% and plugged in, and the Tesla was fully charged up to 80% in the morning. So it's pretty easy to take a road trip, even in super cold weather, with a Tesla. It just takes a little bit of planning and understanding the machine and the software. It doesn't require any super long charging. You know, 10, 15 minutes isn't a problem. You're gonna have to stop and get a coffee, use the bathroom as you travel with family. Usually the car is ready to go before you're even back. Having a level two charger at home and being able to precondition the car definitely helps. It, you're not gonna lose any range even in cold weather, maybe just a little bit due to heating. The new Teslas have heat pumps which are very efficient. Oh, here comes the Rivian. Now remember to like and subscribe for more videos about Tesla, Rivian, Wi-Fi and tech products. And hit the bell to be notified when my next upload.